Hello everybody, you find me now with a fresh cut and in my part of the garage. And today I'm going to be explaining about what I use for my carp fishing. Let's get straight into this. To start off, um, I use a Whitswood Rye Riot 10 foot 3 pound test curve EVA handle rod. Now these are really nice, I like the 10 foots as I'm, I'm not great with 12s. But this is paired with the Sonic Vader 8000, Sonic Vader X 8000, sorry. Um, and this reel is just amazing. Caught many carp on this. And actually, it's already got my pre-tied rig on. I've just got a spinner rig with corn and a 50mm mainline pop-up. On a 2 ounce slider. And that'll just slide across. Now moving on to my second rod. Okay guys, for my second rod I have got the same rod. The Wishwood Riot 10 foot, 3 pound test curve, EVA handle. And this is paired up with the NGT 6000 carp runner. Um, this is a very nice reel, it's very smooth. Good drag, bait runner reel. Two drags there. And I use this, it's, got, it's just got some 50 pound braid on one of the spools. On the other, I've obviously got my carp spool, but I've just got a just a one ounce lead here. 1.1 1 .1 ounce grip, and I'm just going to keep casting this about. Just making sure I can hit line clips all right. Yeah, so this rod is mainly just for marker, usually. I will be upgrading my rods if hopefully if i get them for christmas my not my rods but particularly the reels i'm looking at some diwa emblems so i'm happy be happy if i get them so yeah this is my second rod now moving on to my tackle box boom so here's a tackle box this is a quarter tackle box this is personally my favorite one bit of dust sheet. it's been lying over there for a bit i haven't tied many rigs in it yet but um feed warehouse sticker this is a company that sponsors me you should definitely go shop there Brownie and concert, absolutely amazing place. Pet feed, fish food, fishing baits. I'm talking boilies, attractors, hook baits. Just an amazing place. But yeah, I'll show you some more in depth of the tackle box now. move on to some of my favorite boily hook baits starting off most of mine are the main line high impact or high visual range to start off i have some milky toffee pop-ups here see i've caught i've shredded some of them down for zigs but some lovely beautiful smells amazing beautiful bright pop-ups and these are absolutely amazing when you need a bright hook bait Let's move on to the high vis Fruitella. Now, these have been soaked inside the pot, which is a rookie mistake. Because I wanted to keep some normal. But that doesn't matter. I've got some soaking in there, which you'll see in a second. But these are just some Fruitella pop-ups. Smell delicious. As well as the Fruitella flavour, I've soaked them in the mainline cell smart liquid. In that... That reeks of loveliness. Now let's move on to the high impact, high leakage pineapple pop-ups. These ones, are, some of them are still soaking, but wow. Soaked in quarter pineapple girl. Just put a picture up there. Uh, oh, they're a little slimy. There they are. Some beautiful bright hot words. These ones are much better to use on the old brand reservoirs. The carp in there, they're only used to around corn peas sort of vegetables but i have caught them on yellow poplar so far and i've tried these in the past they haven't worked but that was six hour sessions next year i will start doing overnighters and i will definitely catch a new pb next we have um rod hutchinson for a change now rod is a really good brand 
I really like it. Good favourite part of them is the boily catapults for me. They were really good. And these are just the tutti fruity attractant ones. The instant attractor mega tutti fruity pop ups. And these are really good. They just they smell delicious. I've got some tutti fruity liquid as well, just if I wanted to soak them. But let's move on to now the last of the hook baits, the soaks. So I'll just grab them here for you. you. See under there, you can tell this is a fruit teller and this is the high leakage pineapple. These are just in some tubs. Start with the high leakage pineapple as I like them the most. So open up my tub here. Yeah, some carp gloriness. Oh, absolutely delicious. I think I'd eat them before the carp. But yeah, I soak these in, in a pineapple goo. And that just really helps me get some fish, especially in the old brownie reservoir, which is my main fishing lake. There is a lot of silt which takes away scent of the bait. So I have to really get the juices in them. Now, of course, the main line, the holy heavens, the main line fruit tellers. Again, soaked in small liquid, which I did in the tub, which I rookie mistake again. But yeah, that's just about it for the carp hook baits. I'm not sure what else I've got now. Rig box. Let's move on to some of my favourite boily hook baits. Starting off, most of mine are the mainline high impact or high visual range. To start off, I have some milky toffee pop ups here. See, I've, caught, I've shredded some of them down for zigs. But some lovely, beautiful, smells amazing, beautiful, bright pop ups. And these are absolutely amazing when you need a bright hook bait. Let's move on to the high vis fruitella. Now, these have been soaked inside the pot, which is a rookie mistake because I wanted to keep some normal. But that doesn't matter. I've got some soaking in there, which you'll see in a second. But these are just some. Fruit teller pop ups smell delicious as well as the fruit teller flavor. I've soaked them in the mainline cell smart liquid, and that that reeks of loveliness. Now, let's move on to the high impact, high leakage pineapple pop ups. These ones, are, some of them are still soaking, but wow, soaked in quarter pineapple girl. Just put a picture up there. Uh, oh, they're a little slimy. There they are. Some beautiful bright hot words. These ones are much better to use on the old brand reservoirs. The carp in there, they only used to around corn, peas, sort of vegetables. But I have caught them on yellow poppers before. And I've tried these in the past. They haven't worked, but that was six hour sessions. Next year, I will start doing overnighters and I will definitely catch a new PB. Next, we have. Um, Rod Hutchinson for a change. Now, Rod is a really good brand. I really like it. Good favourite part of them is the boily catapults for me. They were really good. And these are just the tutti fruity attractant ones. The instant attractor mega tutti fruity pop ups. And these are really good. They just they smell delicious. I've got some tutti fruity liquid as well, just if I wanted to soak them. But let's move on to now the last of the hook baits, the soaks. So I'll just grab them here for you. See under there, you can tell this is a fruit teller and this is the high leakage pineapple. These are just in some tubs. Start with the high leakage pineapple as I like them the most. So open up my tub here. Yeah, some carp gloriness. Oh, absolutely delicious. I think I'd eat them before the carp. But... Yeah, I soak these in, in a pineapple goo. And that just really helps me get some fish, especially in the old brownie reservoir, which is my main fishing lake. There is a lot of silt which takes away scent of the bait. So I have to really get the juices in them. Now, of course, the main line, the holy heavens, the main line fruit tellers. Again, soaked in small liquid, which I did in the tub, which I rookie mistake again. 
but yeah, that's just about it for the carp hook baits. Ah, finally, oops, the rig box. This is NG3 rig box. Started buying all my carp gear in lockdown, to be honest. So, this is what's inside my heavenly rig box. We've got two spinner rigs, a quarter one and my one, with some curve shank and a wide gear. I just use wide gear for some reason. And then we've just got some micro swivel rigs here. I'm going to start adding a couple hair rigs in here and there. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I'd like to give a big thanks to um, everyone who's watched my Connor for Lake video. 125 views as I'm seeing it now. Like, my newest video, my, my day and night fishing at the old brownie res. Wow, that took literally 65 views. Thank you so much for all the recent support. You can find me on Instagram here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.